If you drive your vehicle and apply the brakes and feel a pulsation in the brake pedal, as well as the vehicle as it slows down while braking, that would most likely indicate a warped brake rotor. Rotors can become warped as a result of excessive heat from braking or if you purchased a lower quality rotor. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use a dial gauge along with a stand on this vehicle. I'm going to remove this tire first. I'll chalk the wheels on the opposite side of the vehicle and I'm going to be using the jack stand to support the vehicle. Let me remove the tire and I'll be right back. Okay, when you take the wheel off, this is exactly how you're going to set up the dial gauge with the stand. Make sure you put the lug nuts back on, tighten them down. You want to make sure the disc is as flat as possible. I removed the caliper as well as the brake pads just to make it a little easier so that nothing rubs. And when you do that, you're going to position the end of the dial gauge right against the rotor, perpendicular, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And you want to depress it very slightly and then you want to push the zero button. Make sure the magnetic base is on a part that's not movable and you're good to go. Once you do that, you're going to very slowly rotate the rotor and you're going to look at the reading right here. The service limit for the rotor is going to be around 0 .0025 inch or two and a half thousandths of an inch. So you're going to rotate very slowly and as you do that, you're going to take a look at the dial gauge reading. It's going to fluctuate high and low, so you want to look at the range. So if it goes minus 0 .001 and then positive 0 .001, you're okay because the spread is only 0 .002. So let me zoom in right here, and I'm going to rotate the rotor while you look. I already zeroed out the gauge, so it's 0 0.000. Let's rotate the rotor and see what happens. All right, so we have negative 0.0005 go slow, okay, negative 0 0.001, now it's going back again to negative 0 0 0.005, let's keep going, now it's at zeros all the way, and let's go slow, and now it's going back negative again, so it's only around 0 0.001 which is nothing. That's well under the point zero zero two five. You're going to repeat this procedure for each one of the rotors on the vehicle until you find the one that's warped. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.